they got me pregnant then i will also send you the picture and i will i will check the date and send to you so the one that uh, got me pregnant i went to the church october 1st on that october i saw my menses before going to the uh, uh, the program hello guys hello people my people wonder shall never end mona listen to this young girl with a baby when he born for jeremiah prophet jeremiah wonder shall never end though i want to play this video for now make all of una listening to this very i fact just watch this video just watch good morning my brother uh sorry eh? I'm supposed to tell you what happened yesterday, but I slept off. So look at how the things goes. Eh? I was in a, in a, although I've attended that uh, church for how many years now? Since 2013, I, I attended the church since 2013. So all these uh, rubbish with me and the man of God, it all started when uh, last year I went to Sunday service because I normally travel from Bayasa to Worry every week because they have free bus that always that normally carries uh, people from Bayasa to Worry from the church. So that is how. I attended that particular Sunday service and uh, I, I, well, after the service, after the closing of the service, I was coming down because I like sitting at the upper gallery. So after the closing of the service, I came down from the step. I was not the only person, we were many. So I was coming down. The man of God, Prophet Jeremiah, he was co also coming down with his protocol. So I'm going to send you the boy's number that he asked to come and meet me one-on-one -on -one to collect the number. So that is how he now asked, he stopped and asked me, how are you? I said, Daddy, I'm fine. Say, what is your name? I told him my name. So he now said, uh, where am I from? I said I'm from Cross River. He said, No, are you are you following the Bayasa bus? I said yes. I'm following the Bayasa bus from uh, Bayasa to uh, Worry. He now says, Okay, I should meet one of the protocol. He now pointed the ball, which I'm going to send you the boy's picture. He pointed the ball to me. Me, I was even thinking maybe they want to see me the next week Sunday. So I, when I was going, I saw someone following me up. He now called me, which is the person that came again following me up. He now he now meets me, and the person is uh, his PA. He now meets me, say how are you? I said I'm fine. Are you the person that the uh, daddy say he want to see, which is a uh, prophet Jeremiah? I say yes, he now asked me to give him my number. I gave him the number, I said he's going to call me. Although I now dropped the bus that was coming to Bata was two. I and my friend were coming together. So I gave my friend my phone to charge inside the bus for me while I enter another bus. So when we dropped, when we have gotten to Bayelsa, the my friend and said, ah, my phone was ringing, you know. I said, who is the person? I now checked, I called the number back, it was his PA. I now said, okay, sir, it's me. He said, hey, I've been calling you now. I told him the phone is not with me. He now said, uh, okay, where are you? I said, I've gone back to Bassa. I said, but uh, we asked you to wait now that Papa want to see you. I said, ah, oh, sorry, I didn't know he want to see me. I was thinking maybe it's next week Sunday or... He now said, can I enter vehicle to... Um, uh, worry on Monday morning morning I say yes I can come it's okay I should come so it was it went, reaching the Monday I cannot I can't remember the day but I snapped a picture that day which they had my account I don't I can't recall 
So he now say, okay, I now enter transport to worry the next day, which is on Monday. That is how I went to that church. I job. I was going to the, to the mountain, thinking the man of God is inside the mountain. Maybe he want to see me inside the mountain, want to prophesy to me. And I called him. Uh, 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 I call his P again. Say, sir, I'm in uh, the church. I'm inside mountain. Say, no, it's not mountain. Come to Goodness Lodge. I said, Goodness Lodge. I said, can I come out from that uh, the mountain to the Goodness Lodge? He said, when I get to the Goodness Lodge, I should meet the reception. When I meet the reception, I should call him. So when I get there, I now call the I now call him. He talked to the reception. They now took me to the up up room. I didn't check this. They said the first one. I didn't check the number of the room. So that is how I went. When I went to that place, he asked me to sit down, and I sat. Then he asked me, "How are you?" I said, "I'm fine." He said he saw me only apple. Am I married? I said no, I'm not married, but I just like to oh apple. That is how he said okay. Before I will know, he said have I eaten? I said no, I've not eaten because I left the house very early. He now removed twenty thousand from his pocket and gives to me. He said I should use that it I should call the reception to bring food for me. I was not I was not feeling hungry because all my mind was praying that ah, God have answered my prayer because even the men people that follow me to the church. So I said, ah, God, I, I said, thank God. And I told my friend, look at what happened. Though. And the funniest thing, eh, the day he met me, the boy I was dating left me that Sunday. So the day he met, that Sunday he met me, that is the day my boyfriend called me that he cannot continue with the relationship. So I was there crying. So on that point, that's why I went down from that day after the closing of the church. So maybe my friend will remember that day that he told me that he doesn't want me again. So I now told my friend, look, after you have told me that you don't want me, maybe your what you said now have pushed the man of God to see my case. He now said, ha, oh yeah, go and meet him now. And I said, when I went there, so the guy now gave, his peer now gave me 20,000. When he gave me the 20,000, he said I should call for food. I, I did not call because I was so happy. I said, God, I was waiting for what the man want to come and tell me. So the peer now came again and I asked me, can you keep secret? I said, yes. Like, what kind of secret? I said, don't worry. You will see, you will know the secret. I will tell you the secret later. I said, okay, sir. Before I wait, now come again. Say the man of God is coming. When he comes inside, don't rush him. Don't rush the man of God here. I said, okay, no problem, sir. So before I would say, now ask me if the room telephone ring, I should pick it up and talk to the person. I now went in, on in the next 30 minutes, the phone now rang. The telephone now rang. I pick it up and uh, I call, uh, I picked, when I picked, I saw that it's a prophet Jeremiah voice. He now say, how are you? I said, I'm fine. It's a low voice. I said, I'm fine. He now say, he's coming. And I say, okay. I waited. When I wait, before in the next 10 minutes, I saw somebody, he came inside with this, uh, he came with supper with Nika and Polo. I said, uh, I get up, I greeted him, good good morning, sir, because it was in the morning. I greeted him. When I greet him, he now, I was not on the chair. He now sat on the bed. He said, how are you? I said, I'm fine. Say, you have seen the man of God that you have been praying for to see. God has answered your prayer. What do you do for a living? I told him that I'm making hair, but I don't have, uh, I'm not working for now because anywhere I work, they don't normally pay me. So that they will bring bring up and when time reach to pay, they will bring up issue. So he now said, uh, uh, what, what of my parents? I said my parents they are all they say I. Hey. So okay, I should know what God has answered my prayer. I should look for any kind of business that I, should, uh, I would like to do and tell him calculate everything and the shop everything and tell him the amount when I'm ready. I say okay, that they are ahead. He now started to come and sit on the bed. Uh, my mind was, uh, how will I come and sit on the bed? 
He said, no, don't be scared. He saw this keg on me. He said, no, don't be scared. Come and see. This is you. He's a Papa Jay that is talking. Come and sit on the bed. So when I sat on the bed, that is how the man hold me down on the bed and slept with me after sleeping with me. That is how he went in outside. He now said, I should give him my number. I gave him. He said, he's going to call me. Before I was inside the room, he called me. That this is his number. What's my name? I told him my name. He now brought 250 uh, 250,000 inside black lion come and give to me i was wondering is this real or not as i was say okay i said putting myself i put up i said putting more effort going to the church so you all the the, the one that uh, got me pregnant uh, i will also send you the picture and i will i will check the date and send to you so the one that uh, got me pregnant i went to the church october 1st on that October, I saw my menses before going to the uh, the program. I saw my menses before that time. I saw my menses on the twenty something. After that, he, I went. That, that period I went to that church was with my ovulation. So after the closing of that uh, 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 mountain. On that day, he now called me after 10. I will send you the picture that I was in the church with you on that October 1st. He called me to 10. Say, we are my, say, me, my Lord, it's okay. Have I taken my bed? I say, yes. He said, I should come to room 17 in Goodness Lodge. I went to, I, when I went, I called him. He said, I should pass the back door. I should come from, I should enter from the back door. I should not go to the front door where uh, these people are. That is how I enter the uh, front, uh, back door and enter the uh, place. So he now said, uh, he said, asked me to say, he was making call that day, was asking people how much is a bulletproof car. I was asking, telling somebody they want to buy a car for a pro, they want to surprise that pro that I was there. So after I finished, that is I now I own me. So I should come to Zoom. The color was before and I entered the room. That is how the man slept with me again. That uh, October 1st, that he slept with me after sleeping with me when I was inside his church. So um, uh, I now, I, they were having program too. So I stayed there for like how many? I stayed from that October to November. So I was having this symptom. I was sick in that process. And I called it when I when the symptom of pregnancy. And I called. I said, ah, "Thank God, though, for how many months I have not slept with anybody. Which God bear me witness. All my life I was in that church. All my everything. You know, I don't walk. Even you see me, I'll be going. To, you see me. If you want to look for me, you look for me. If you want to see me, that is the church that you will see me in Mercy City." So I was there from that October to November almost ending. So after November something, November 6 to November 20 something. So I started feeling this symptom of uh, pregnancy, vomiting. I was wondering, how is it possible? So I hide. I went and buy urine test outside the gate and I checked it was uh, pregnant. I, I showed through uh, positive. So I called the, uh, I called the uh, uh, this person, his PA. I said, look at what is going on. No, uh, I've not seen my men's this, this month. Uh, and look at the symptom and feeling. I will tell the assistant pastor that uh, look, I'm not feeling fine. So I should go to the outside gate and tell them that it's the one that sent that should give me jobs. Because me, I, uh, I know what was going on because. I didn't want to tell him to do. I know he knows. So I now called the PA that uh, introduced me to the academy to the uh, geo, uh, the, the uh, Jeremiah room. I said, look at her, I'm pregnant for Jeremiah. I will send you the picture that, I will send you the message that he sent for me after telling him. He said, now, nah, I should go and do it to if Papa here, Papa will not be happy with me. I said, why are you people telling me to, why are you telling me to go and do abortion now? I cannot do abortion. So on that process, I told the, uh, I called Jeremiah, I did not pick up. I sent him a voice, because that is how he normally answer uh, easily. I sent him a voice note. When I sent him the voice note, I told him, since that day to today, he doesn't pick my call. The only time when he pick, 
he will silence, he will not talk. So someone told me that uh, he doesn't want me to record his voice and I will use it against him before he didn't don't know that I already have his voice record when he called me, threatening me, all those stuff. I did hear yeah, bias is too small for me. So after then the, the PA was pressuring me that I should come, that he will not do me anything. So I was very sick, he will not do me anything, that I should um, uh, uh, take a job, carry taxi from bias. I take a job, I should take and come to worry. Or if you, if me, I want that he will send vehicle from a church vehicle to come and pick me. I said, okay, don't worry, I will come. So my mind was not to go, because if I go, what I see, they will force me to inject me to...